And apparently there's an event at the end of it. Okay. Everyone, please allow me to thank you. Huh? Thanks to you, the sacred orb is safe. And you're petrified. There's no need to thank us. They make you run through the entire shrine just to get to this cutscene. It's really our fault to begin with. They never would have known about the sacred orb if we hadn't come here. You're wrong. They came here of their own accord. No fault lies with you. Nell. I gathered from what you were saying before that there are many worlds like our own. That's right. And the sacred orb is an exceedingly rare object, an OPA, you said, correct? Yes. Correct. At least there's no record of anything like the sacred orb in the Federation's database. That means most likely someone would have come here seeking its power sooner or later. It just so happens that time is now. You have nothing to apologize for. Now. All right. Time to go. Oh, yeah. Let's get back to Aquios. Right. Still, there's nothing to fight while we're in here. But as soon as we get out, of course, there's stuff to fight. So, I'll be back again. Because, yeah, there's going to be nothing of new of interest on my way out, hopefully. Uh, On my travels, I apparently found this rabbit in this room. Okay, what do you want? Okay. Uh, I have nothing to say to you. Oh, fine. Sell me some hammers. Yeah, uh, sell me five. Not like I need any of them. Anyway, again, traveling back to town. Be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up things from here. We finally re uh, followed back to Castle Aquaria. Uh, after some annoying battles in the cave thing. Uh, okay, let's see. everything, causing mass panic and total destruction. Anyway, let's get out of here. I'm just going to go to the inn quickly, if I can. I can, and I will. Because I'm low on everything, and people are, like, collapsed and such. We'll stay. We have enough money. Alright, let's leave and head out into the world for a moment. Because I still think I could do some events out here, if anything. All I have to do is report to the Queen, right? What a pain. You're way up tight. Chill out, okay? Scholar's Bracelet and... I don't need that. Let's uh, attack another one. You wasted my time. This 
will be the last time you mess with me. I don't know. I I don't have to push that hard. Sweet. Let's find worthy opponents next time. I know where to find some if you want. But I'm not gonna go there. Okay, so let's return to the queen. We had our little fun outside. Uh let's see, replace. I also want to put Nell back in the party for now. I also want to try hiring some adventures if I can. I mean, I passed up a few of them already. But that's also because they were not in the way of the plot and I didn't want to go out of my way to go searching for them. So let's go this way. There we go. I wasted some time, but at it the same time... It is unfortunate that thieves were allowed to enter Kadein. But at least the Sacred Orb is safe. Yes. Thank you for your hard work, all of you. We couldn't have done it without their help. All right. So what do we do next? They're intensifying their attacks. And now that we have defeated them at Kadang, they have even more reason to attack this country. It would appear that the only option remaining is to work together to drive off the Vendini. Sounds good. Yes, agreed. But how will we do it? The only weapon that might help isn't completed yet, and it doesn't have the range. What's the point of an attack that can't hit its target? Shall request cooperation from Erigrid. I beg your pardon. Y your Majesty. If you had the means to carry the weapon into the sky, range would no longer be an issue, correct? Yeah. Erigrid has this ability. All we need to do is borrow it. A means for carrying. The air dragons. Correct. Yes. But will they cooperate? Not likely. Even if they approve our request, how are we to be sure that they will not betray us? That's a good point. We do not believe this will happen. The Vendini attack also dealt a great deal of damage to their country. Of this we are sure. They cannot afford to worry about taking our land's men. So in other words, attack them. Furthermore, it was the warmonger Vox who kept pushing for conflict in his country. And he is now in his grave. The king of Eriglyph will understand. This is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. That is true. Your majesty. Let us appeal to Eriglyph for their assistance. I shall prepare a personal letter and send a messenger immediately. Can I count on your help? Your majesty. So now we have to go... I'll go too. ...to Eriglyph and request their Don't help. Don't you think he'll trust me more? I don't think a person from Aquaria could explain the whole picture anyway. That may be so, but you realize this is dangerous? Of course. Yeah, so? A little danger doesn't worry me. Very well. You shall accompany me. Leave it to us. Exactly. Elena, you are to hurry and prepare the Thunder Arrow. Yes, Your Majesty, right away. Can you help her get the weapon ready? Roger. Still no help from Mirage. Oh well. We are counting on all of you. Your Majesty, what should I do? We should go with Nell. The two of you should wait until she returns. I shall have a task for you then. Yes, Your Majesty. 
Oh, I wanted to go with Nell. Fade. Huh? Could we talk outside? Of course. Um, sure, okay. This theme constantly plays. It's so peaceful. Mm hmm So, don't you have something you want to ask me about? But what exactly? Huh? Hmm, let's see. Can't think if of it. If not, that's fine. Say. Yes? When did you become aware of your power? Why do you ask? Is this going to be another flashback? Well, I mean, I'm curious. I found out because everyone told me. So I was wondering how you figured it out. All right. I'll tell you. It's a flashback. It was seven years ago. I was 12 years old. Living with my parents on Federation Station 17. My father was a Federation officer, and my mother was a research scientist working on the station. Since both of my parents worked, I never got to spend much time with them. But I was happy. That is, until the war with the Aldians took all that away. Welcome to... No, Daddy! I want to stay too! Oh, hey, it's a hair ribbon. I'm sorry, honey, but we have no choice. Now listen to me. This place isn't safe. They've already broadcast the evacuation announcement for all civilians. But... Daddy, why do you have to stay? I've got a job to do here, Maria. Listen to your father. It's hard enough for him already. Come along with me. And don't worry about Daddy. He'll take care of those Aldians, and then meet up with us on Eric. Eric! Eric! Daddy, you promise? I, I know I'm making fun of such a dramatic scene, I but... I promise. Sometimes that's all you have to do in these. You really promise? Really and truly? I do. Yeah, flashbacks. Jesse, take good care of her. I will, dear. Welcome back to a familiar scene. They renamed the planet, uh, the ship, but it's exactly like the ori the first part. No access to the camp menu, obviously. Oh, hey. Guy who looks like a scientist. I'll talk to her last. Uh, save the game? Uh, don't save. No. A one man army does not work. No. 
Richard. Even the, the command panel says the heller. <laughs> Daddy. And we're you're expected to think that we're on the uh the, like the radish. Good job. I know. Uh, reuse scenes. What's the Aldian battleship doing now? After attacking Federation Station 17, it set course for the planet Eric, just as we did. It's just a matter of time until they overtake us. I see. Connect me to headquarters. Yes, sir. Going to screen. What is it, Captain? Requesting a change of destination, sir. Our ship is currently ferrying civilians to Eric. However, I do not think it wise to proceed there under the present circumstances. I cannot immediately authorize your request. We will study the matter here and get back to you. Maintain your present course for now. But that would be suicide! Yes, sir. Okay, now what? More talking to people? Yeah, you can't see it here, but when you get zoomed in. There we go. What was that? Mommy? Are we being attacked? It's all over. They must have overtaken us. It's too dangerous here. Everyone get to the escape pods. This way. I'm not going to have to wait for the escape pod this time, am I? Look, Maria, we might never meet again, and there's something I need to tell you. One minute to warp engine core collapse. No, if I don't say this now, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Your father and I are not your real parents. What? Huh? What are you talking about? We love you with all our hearts, just as if you were our own child. But your real parents are still out there somewhere. Mommy, I don't understand. What are you... You don't need to understand right now. You'll know the truth someday. 30 seconds to warp engine core collapse. You are very important. You must not give up. You must survive. You have the power within yourself. I'm just gonna let it sit here and wait for the orb engine to collapse. Nah. Fifteen seconds to warp engine core collapse. I love you, Maria. Run! Well, technically, warp core could collapse in fifteen seconds, but the overall explosion might take more time than that. 10 seconds to warp engine core collapse. That was a long five seconds. Mommy! Mommy! Warp engine core collapse in five, 
four, three, two, one, zero. You must survive. It doesn't say if she got off the ship or not, but you, you kind of expect it at this point. It's like... I'm so sorry. Because she's sitting right there. Finding out her parents weren't her own at the age of 12. That must have been tough. There's more. Mommy. Daddy. I wonder what happened to all the others. Am I near Eric yet? Nope. Ten days later. Unidentified ship approaching the pod. Huh? What kind of ship? Origin unknown. Transponder signal not detected. They have cool escape pods. Is her? Yes. She's quite weak, but she'll survive. She's an Earthling. So it seems. Based on our analysis of the escape pod data, it seems she's a victim of the battle against Aldian at Federation Station 17 the other day. She's so young. Poor thing. The Federation and Aldian destroyed themselves in a foolish struggle for power. It's always the common folk who end up suffering. Agreed. That's why you created this group, isn't it? What? Nah, nothing so lofty. I just can't stand taking orders from people I don't like. Come on, there's more to it than that. You can tell me. Ah, shut up. <laughs> nope. Green saber. Ah. Oh, you're awake, little one. Does it hurt anywhere? Where am I? Who are you guys? This is the sick bay of the spaceship Diplo. We recovered your escape pod when it drifted near our course. We're traitors. We just finished a deal and were on our way home when we found you. You saved me? Yeah, you could say that. What's wrong? Are you in pain? I'm hungry. Yeah, 10 days without much food would, uh... <laughs> Is that all? Hey, Mirage, let's get this girl something to eat. Coming right up. I see. So that's how you met. That's right. I was taken to the Clausian homeworld. I no longer had any place to go home to, so I joined their organization. You mean Quark? That's right. They told me it was a trading corporation at first, but it was actually an anti-federation organization. But that doesn't mean that it was involved in guerrilla warfare or in acts of destruction. We would assist planets affiliated with the Federation or unaffiliated planets that were being pressured to join. In other words, our primary role was to act as an intermediary. Ah. How did you become the leader? I can't picture you know who stepping aside so easily. Well, there was an incident. 
And it just so happens that incident is also the answer to your question. It was four years after I joined Quark. Another flashback? Yep. <laughs>